Hey, it's Michael Colomb. It is uh, September 1st, 2023. So it's a whole new month today. A whole new month. And look, I finally shaved. I know people have been telling me I should shave because I got my hair cut. So I did shave today because it's the holiday weekend and I'd like to look halfway decent, if anything. Um, so there's a couple things I want to talk about. First of all, yesterday I was down in Orange County. Um, like I'd said earlier, and I was dealing with some of my family drama and all day long while I was at the courthouse, my phone kept dinging, ding, 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 ding. Uh, I mean, I had it on silent, but I could feel it. And because I have my smartwatch, it was going off all day long and it kept telling me that I was getting comments on YouTube. And I'm surprised because I don't have a lot of followers or at least at the time I didn't. And I didn't have a lot of engagement. So I was a little intrigued at um, why so many people were commenting on my videos and I didn't think about it and it just, it, you know, I was gonna look at them later, but they just kept coming in. So I was like, whoa, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna let, it's a little overwhelming, but I wanted to wait. So I sat down today and I started going through all the comments <clears throat> and I noticed that a lot of people were saying, oh, I'm here from Tom's vlog. And I was like, what the heck is this? And I kept looking at that and people was like, oh, you know, Tom gave you a shout out. And I was like, what is this Tom? And so I was liking all the comments and I've been responding to them and I was like, what? And like, this day started off so nicely because, you know, it's the first day of the month, um, which is nice. So, you know, it, we're kind of moving into like, we're clo like one step closer to spooky season. You know, I love my horror and I love Halloween and I love autumn and stuff. So, so there was that. But then also I got my, um, which I did a video for it earlier. I did a sort of an unboxing, even though it was like an un unenveloping thing. But I had gotten this, um, I had ordered this little doll from a company called Dollify, but basically my mother passed away in January and I kept seeing this thing pop up and I thought it'd be really cool to um, to um, order. I should have had it so you could see it, but it's actually um, this little doll. You can watch in the video, but it's this little doll. I, I got it about, it's about six inches, not very big. Um, and I got it because I wanted, we had this, um, when I was a kid and we would travel with family, we always had like a tiger. Like it was maybe this big, like a white tiger. It was a stuffed animal and everybody took that animal with them when they traveled. It was, you know, this was years and years and years and years before TSA. But we would um, take this tiger and anybody in the family that traveled, that's, you know, it was just supposed to be good luck. And I thought, you know, this year has probably been one of the toughest years of my life. Um, I mean, I, cause I really thought the pandemic would be hard. I really did, uh, you know, but I, I was creating a lot. I was filming a lot. And I, 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 looking back on it now, 2020 and 2021 were great. 2022 was fine. Um, and, you know, I was going through this weird depression, but I think all of us were because um, we were just adjusting to, like, what felt like the end of times, you know. In, in America, it was cr politically crazy, whatever. And we're so divided as a country in a lot of ways, especially when it comes to, like, race. Um, but so, and I was also traveling a lot because traveling is, like, my passion. So I was traveling a lot, and traveling was cheaper and easier because of the pandemic. Okay, so flash forward to now 2023. To get better an idea of like how I am doing mentally, you have to understand this. The very first day of 2023, which was January 1st, um, I woke up that morning and I was feeling very, very sick. I had just got back from um, being in the cabin in the woods with some of my friends up in, um, up in like Flagstaff, Arizona, which is the next state over. And we had, um, I had gone to the Grand Canyon, all those things, because you know, I love national parks. But I woke up on January 1st and I was like, man, I don't feel good. I had a really sore throat. I was really lethargic. And my roommate had just told me um, that he had gotten COVID. And I was like, oh, uh, dude, I hope you didn't give me COVID. But I was with my friends, so I didn't think anything of it. I, you know, I had, I went three years without ever having any symptoms or knowing what it was. And I'm fully vaccinated, all that stuff. But sure as hell, I go take a COVID test and it ends up being positive. I was like, ain't that a bitch? The first day of the year. And I was like, I hope that's not a sign about what's going to happen on this day of the year. But sure enough, I went and got a PCR test and it came back positive. It was the very first positive test, I, like I said, I've had in like two and a half, three years. And I was like, man. And the thing that sucks about all of that was that I was supposed to start a job the following week. And I had a, um, and I had a, a test, a COVID test set up for the following Monday. And so the thing that sucks about all of this is that, by the way, I apologize if there's pounding, they're doing construction. But um, what sucks about all of this is 
that was on Sunday. And I, I want to say like on Tuesday, maybe like the third, I was supposed to go and help my dad take my mother to a doctor's appointment. I even, I even promised the nurse I'd be there because my mother um, was very, 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 very sick. She was living on an oxygen tank, but she had fallen and hurt her foot. And so we were trying to get her foot in a brace. And because she was slowly getting dementia, she did not understand that like what was happening with her foot. And so she was fighting on us on it. And my dad was just like, I really need your help to take her to the hospital. And I was like, done. I'm totally there. I'm there for mom, I promise. Except then I got COVID on the first and I was like, nope, I don't want to see her because I don't want to get her sick. And that's, I mean, especially because she had, she was living on an oxygen tank and it's, it's, a, um, it's a respiratory disease. And the last thing I wanted to do was get her sick. I mean, I would have worn a mask, but I called my dad and he's like, yeah, no, don't come. Your nephew will come. So my nephew came, all was great. And then I still had my COVID test, the PCR test the following Monday because I was supposed to be filming. And so Friday comes and I mean, I, I didn't hit, get, get, get hit that hard. I, I had a sore throat for like one night. I think the next day I had a really bad cough that lasted like two days. By Friday, I felt fine. I even did a PCR test. I, I did a, 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 um, a test here at home, a home kit. I was fine. I tested negative. So I was like, great, I have this PCR test on Monday. I will go and I will wait. Sunday night, the day before I'm supposed to get tested, two days after I tested negative, my nephew calls me and tells me that my mom is dead. And I was brokenhearted because first of all, I mean, we, she was sick, but she wasn't like that sick. And, and second of all, um, I was supposed to go see her and I couldn't. And so like, in, I, if I had a, I, it sucks because if I had known, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't have wanted to get her sick, but I would have definitely gone because I wanted to see her. I would have worn a mask. I just didn't think about it. And I remember just going and, and the last time I saw her was Thanksgiving and she was sleeping because she was sleeping during the day and, and up at night. And so anyways, it's, 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 I've, I've told the story a hundred times, but um, it was very frustrating to, to be there and, and know that that was that Thanksgiving was the last time I saw my mom and then I didn't see her again until she was already passed. Um, and so I, I'm not gonna belabor this because I've talked about this before and, and the whole thing that sucks is that, um, and I did a whole vlog about it on it uh, before, but you know, with Spirit Airlines not helping my sister get out here with, and for the funeral, so that's a whole other thing. But um, January was just kind of like, a, like a, a shit show in a lot of ways because I just remember like, the, they came and picked up her body and we couldn't go to the funeral home for a couple of days. So I ended up taking the PCR test the next day and getting my negative review. And then, I mean, my negative test. And then like, I was on set like two days later on a commercial and I told the production company, which I work with them a lot. I was like, my mom just died. So like, distract me, keep me busy. And like, they were wonderful about it. Um, but it was weird because I was so numb. Like, I feel like I spent all of January being numb because we were playing at the funeral and stuff. So like, this is sort of like how the year has been. I just feel like it's been the toughest thing because it's like, then I had my birthday right after that. And I usually travel on my birthday, but I decided to stay close to home. So I went to Vegas and saw some friends. And my friends, my friend Ryan and his wife, Heather, the Ryan, the, the guy that asked me to start the vlog, him and his wife took me and we met some of my friends out there, my horror friends, we had a great time. And I'm so grateful for them because I just feel like, like the, because my mom's funeral was the beginning of February, my birthday was right after that. And then it's just been like, just trying to adjust to things. And I'm also knowing that my sister's having a hard time with it. So I've been trying to be there for her. Um, and then my dad was having a hard time. And then, so we decided to move my dad back to the Midwest because he wanted to be closer to my sister and the, and the Greg kids, which I think was the best thing for him. But it's hard because my family's always been here and now they're gone. And now I have another family member who's close by, but, um, that person is, you know, locked up. And I'm, I'm specifically not saying who it is, just out of respect for them, but that person is, is, now here's, so I'm kind of here by myself. And this is like, legitimately the first time I kind of been alone. I mean, I'm not like, I mean, I have aunts and uncles here. It's not that, but it's like my immediate family that I've always been, that I would like go and see, that it was always like just a short trip away is gone. And so then like coupled now to the fact that like, here we go into like the, um, into like the strike and stuff. It's just like, I just sort of feel like this year is just kicking me in the balls over and over again. I don't know if I can say that, but that's kind of how it feels. So flash forward to like, I'm sitting, so I get, I get this really cool doll thing and I want to take it with me when I travel because what we used to do when I was younger is we would take this stuffed animal. And I thought, you know, 
I'd like to take something because I do love traveling. I do travel for work and I do travel for pleasure. So I was like, you know what? That's it. I'm just going to buy something. And I keep seeing this thing pop up from Dollify that you can take a picture of your loved one and they'll turn it into a crochet doll. So I was like, done. Had to get it. It came today. It's beautiful. Uh, legit made me cry. I'm, I'm, it's, I'm glad it's one of the best things I bought. So then I finally had a few minutes and I said, I go, you know, let me go through these comments because I'm trying to figure out why I'm getting so many comments because I don't ever... Like I'm new to vlogging and I'm getting all this engagement and I see all these people coming from Life of Tom, which is Tom's vlog. And I was like, what is this all about? I didn't, I didn't know. And he has another, uh, I think, uh, I apologize, Tom, if I don't know this, but I think he has a, another vlog where he does gaming called Syndicate. Syndicate? If that's correct, I, if it's incorrect, please forgive me. Um, but he was doing, anyways, he does this vlog and I was checking out and he's actually so much fun to watch. Um, and it gives me sort of motivation because um, he had made a comment that I just do like old school vlogging. But Tom, it's just because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm new to this. My friend's like, you're cool. You should do a vlog. And I was like, I'm not cool. But I'll, I did it because um, I thought it'd be a good way for me to sort of like deal with all my shit. Because I do, okay, sidebar, I do this digital journal. And every day it's like, I'm sad, I'm sad. But it's only because I feel like I'm changing in my life. Like... I'm, I'm, I'm changing in my career, my, you know, my mother just passed, um, my photography's blowing up. So it's like, I just feel like I'm a new and different person. It's not a bad thing. I just feel like I'm changing. And so 2023 is sort of like this year where I feel like I've been cocooned maybe during the pandemic and now I'm breaking out, but it's all sort of really crazy and overwhelming because I don't really know where the direction of my life is going right now. And so... Um, I sort of feel like most of the time that I'm sort of bouncing around and sort of just being numb. Like, you know, like I'm just like this little bouncy ball just sit bouncing back and forth. And it's like half the time I feel like I don't feel anything. Um, and look, I'm not looking for sympathy. I, I, everybody goes through this. It just happens to me. My turn. It's just like, um, my mother was the strong person in the family. And I feel like in a lot of ways, I'm... I'm a lot like her, so I feel like I'm the one sort of taking the torch. Um, of course, that could be all be in my head. I don't know, but it's just sort of feels like that, you know. So my my sister calls when she she needs advice. Um, I help my dad a lot, so I did. So when I got these comments, and I was like, "Where did you guys hear about me?" And someone had one of the people had responded and said, "Oh, it was on Tom's latest vlog." So I was like, "Well, I don't know this guy. I'll check it out." So I find his vlog, and. He's great. Like, he's extremely animated. I love the UK. Um, and I'm going to say this. And Tom, I hope you watch this video. But you seem like a cool mother effort. Like, you just seem like the coolest guy. And I'm telling you, I don't know if you drink, so please forgive me. But if I'm ever in the UK or you're ever in the US, I'd love to grab a drink with you, man. Because you just seem like the coolest and funnest guy. And the fact that you, like, took a time to, like, check out my random vlog that YouTube did and then just had all those nice things to say um i cannot tell you how much that that truly means to me i was totally surprised and taken aback because um <clears throat> i keep telling everybody that i feel like everything i'm handling this year is like i feel like i take one step forward and three steps back um but it's like and i feel like i've been feeling like that for the last couple of years but i feel like this is the year i just feel like and it's not even like i take a step forward and i take three steps back i feel like I stumble forward and take three steps back and then it's like I get up and I fall again before I can take another step. It just seems like it's unrelentless in like how much I've been trying to get stuff accomplished and I can't. So, um, and I know, I know like we're in the middle of a strike. I have to respect that. And um, I am out there in solidarity with um, the other writers and um, actors because I understand how important it is but you know as someone who works in crew right now and it's like how I make my money um, it's very scary um, but because I understand how important it is I, I try not to let that weigh down on me um, and you know there's other way around so, like I said I do photography and stuff too but um, it's like just when I thought everything was going to go coming off of this pandemic this happens I was like holy hell what the heck but I digress. I'm just rambling like I always do. Um, but I want to say thank you to Tom. And I want to say thank you to all his followers who just like leave me the best comments. And are saying like the coolest and sweetest things on my comments. Like I, 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 it's amazing to me that there's people out there who enjoy listening to me ramble literally about nothing. 
but still find it entertaining and engaging. And um, I just say be patient with me. I'll probably f I'll, I'll probably try and, and vlog more of my life like Tom does. Um, but right now I just enjoy talking to the camera. I f it feels very personal. I did a podcast for many years and I think I just feel comfortable sort of just talking right now. But I'm hoping that I can share my life with you and I'm really hoping that like you can meet my friends and stuff. Um, and it's really cool. So I have to say right now the weather is because it's been so hot and it's actually supposed to rain I think the next couple of days and it's really overcast because it's only like quarter to six and it already looks like it's going to be dark. So I'm really excited about that. We need it. Um, and then I also am going, I've decided I'm going to go to, um, there's like 35 different national parks here in California. Um, and I've lived here my whole life and I feel like I've gone to none of them. So I'm going to go to one, maybe not tomorrow, I'm going to go Sunday. I think Sunday, Monday, I'm going to go the tail end of the holiday weekend because it's Friday and it's September 1st, we're going into the holiday weekend. But right now I got a shower because I'm going to go hang out with my one of the besties, Blake. We're going to go see a movie. But um, I just, yeah, I just, it's been such a crazy day. Like it's September 1st and I'm already so grateful to like, the, like Tom and all of his followers and, and all of my friends who've been there who, um, cause they're always like, Michael, you need to talk. And I was like, I don't want to talk because I feel like I'm being annoying because I just feel so stuck. And I don't want to keep saying things over and over and over again, which is why I think I'm doing the vlog. But there, there are a few of those friends that are really just like, we don't care. Or better yet, it's like, let's not talk. Let's just go have a drink or let's just go see a movie like Blake and I are doing, or just like, do something that helps you distract yourself. And I am so grateful for those people that are, are doing this um, because I was not aware that I had such a great support system and I'm recently finding out that like, there are those friends that aren't as supportive and I find that ever since my mother has passed, I've put some distance with them and it's nothing personal against them. I just need to be surrounded by people that are have the same vibe as me right now or are starting to want to push me in a better direction. And I want to give a big shout out to my friend Kev, who I just did um, photos with that we were just on Movir Magazine because um, he is ripped and he's going to start training me. And I'm very grateful to that because um, I used to go to the gym and I really think having this, this to look forward to is going to motivate me as well. Um, not that I'll have a summer body because summer's almost over, but um, I'll have a nice winter body. It'll be hidden under a jacket, but by summer next year, hopefully I'll look better. So um, thank you again to to um, Tom in the UK. I hope to meet you someday. Like you just, like I said, you seem really cool and I do travel a lot um, and I do would love to plan to go back to uh, London if ever possible. Um, I don't know what part of the UK you are. I'll have to watch more of your, your, your videos. But um, with that said, uh, thank you again to everybody. Thanks for rambling. Ooh, this is probably my longest video so far. But I, I'm going to try and do some shorts too. And then as um, when I do exciting things, like when I travel, I'll try and do more lives. That way you guys can be involved. Um, I probably can't always vlog from set because um, we sometimes we just can't talk about the projects we're on. So I will try and vlog before or after to kind of just tell you about my life. But um, just be patient. Um, I'm still learning how to vlog by the way. Um, I It's really funny because I kept telling my friend, Ryan, he's like, just do it, just do it, just do it. And I wasn't going to do it. Um, but I sort of did it as a favor to him because he thought he, because he enjoyed watching them. So, um, but now I have fans and people that actually like watch and comment. Oh my God, that's, I'm still sort of like <laughs> blown away by that. So um, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I really hope everybody has a great um, holiday weekend. Uh, if you're in the U.S., it's it's Labor Day. If, if you're anywhere around the world, just know we have a holiday weekend. But um, thank you so much again, and uh, happy Friday, everybody.